Further discussion, General St. Charles. Yes, Mr. Speaker, just speak on the bill. Proceed. Thank you. So we've gotten kind of in the weeds here in this discussion. It's, uh, we've heard talk about uh, the value of this project, it's about energy rates. We've heard about the difference between AC and DC electricity. I don't care about any of that, to be honest. I don't care if the rate that this company would be providing would be five cents a kilowatt hour or negative five cents. I don't care if the tax revenue generated is $10,000 or enough to pay our entire budget for the next 20 generations. We had a debate the other day about carjacking. And while we had disagreements about that particular bill, there's one thing that most everyone seemed to agree on, and that's that you don't get to point a gun at someone and say, I want your stuff. And that's what this is. We're saying a private company can go to a private landowner and say, I'm going to use the power of government to take your land, and then I'm going to do something with it. And that's when I stop listening, because I don't care what that something is. I don't care how great it is for society. I don't care if it's windmills or, or nuclear power or, or oil or corn. It doesn't matter. This is not a debate about the, the relative merits of the project. It's a debate about fundamental property rights. And at the end of the day, should this bill be broader? Should we have a big discussion about reforming eminent domain? Absolutely. I will support that, and I may very well file that bill next session. But the bill in front of us today is narrow. And we have the opportunity to save the property of a small group of people. I would like to do a lot more today. I can't. But what I can do is send a statement very loudly and very clearly that we will protect the property rights of the people of Missouri. And that's why I'm going to support this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.